Hello from Heather, co-author of Sustainable Kitchen. Today we are processing kale. It is August, it is hot, and we are thinking ahead to winter, putting away fresh food from our garden so that we can eat local even in the midst of a deep Vermont winter. So we've harvested a lot of kale stems from the garden, curly kale, and um, stripping the leaves off of its stem, making sure to compost the stem and any leaves that aren't fresh. And then we take the stripped leaves and wash them in some water, just removing any dirt and bugs and leaves and grass that might be on our nice organic kale, and then putting them in a little colander to strain off that water. Then we go, the kale is ready now for its hot water bath. We're gonna blanch the kale. Different vegetables have different blanch times. Kale is about two and a half minutes. So you bring the pot of water to a boil and then put it in uh, about two and a half minutes. I like the pots that have the strainer right in. So after two and a half minutes, you can lift it right out, drain that hot water off and bring it over to an ice bath that you have waiting and plunging, dumping that kale right into the ice bath to stop the cooking process. And then um, we wanna dry it off before we freeze it. So a salad spinner works great. Or I really like these um, flour sack towels. They're so versatile in the kitchen so you can dry them off with a towel as well. Then it's ready to be packaged for the freezer and however it works best for you. I reuse bags that people will just give us. Um, so clean them, wash them, and have them ready to reuse, label and date, so things don't become mystery foods in your freezer, and in packages that are about the size that you'd want for a recipe. So there are a lot of different recipes that I'm looking forward to using this kale in this winter from our cookbook. Um, anything from French lentil soup, beans, grains, and barley, the Indian sag paneer, green curry vegetable, red beans and rice with kale, and our vegan veggie layered lasagna, to name a few. Enjoy!